Right now, we turn to continuing coverage in the legal case against Jesse Vang. He's the man who was responsible for the three-year-old Elijah Vu before the boy went missing. Vang returned to court today. Vang is being accused of chronic child neglect. Fox 11's Andrew Mertens tells us about Vang's latest proceedings as he does now have a defense team. Thursday's court appearance for Jesse Vang was brief and did not reveal any new information about the case. However, it was the first time that we saw Vang have representation in court. Jesse Vang appears by video from the Manitowoc County Jail. Attorney Tim Hogan and Attorney Michael Turner appear from Zoom from separate locations. Vang has two attorneys in his defense. In two weeks, the court will decide whether or not there's enough evidence against Vang to put him on trial. Those proceedings were supposed to happen Thursday, but were delayed. There have been some filings regarding uh, motions to dismiss, motions to modify bond, and uh, today's date did not work for Attorney Hogan uh, and Turner to be present in court. Vang is currently being held at the Manitowoc County Jail on a $20,000 cash bond. Earlier this week, Vang's defense asked for the criminal complaint detailing the charges he's facing to be dismissed. Following that filing, prosecutors updated the complaint with more details. One of those includes text messages from February 18th, just days before Elijah went missing. Vang allegedly messaged Katrina Bauer, Elijah's mother, saying, I told you to trust me, I'm a make sure he hates me and being here. Bauer allegedly replied, saying, don't want him to hate you, just fear you. Thursday marks 30 days since Elijah was reported missing. On Monday, police confirmed that a blanket that was found earlier in the investigation belonged to Elijah. People who have helped search for Elijah say it's a positive sign, but isn't entirely good news. On the flip side to that, you're just like, your heart just kind of sinks because his blanket was out in the field. You know what I mean? And then there's no Elijah. Vang's preliminary hearing will be held the morning of Thursday, April 4th. In Manitowoc, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. Tomorrow afternoon, the mother of Elijah Vu, Katrina Bauer, will be back in court. She is also facing chronic child neglect charges. We plan to stream the hearing live at fox11online.com. In the state of Wisconsin versus Jesse Vang, 24 CF 162, uh, appearances starting in the courtroom. State appears by Jacqueline Lavery. And on Zoom. Jesse Vang appears by video from the Manitowoc County Jail. Attorney Tim Hogan and Attorney Michael Turner appear from Zoom from separate locations. Uh, the matter was on the calendar for preliminary hearing today. Um, since the matter was uh, scheduled last week, uh, Mr. Vang has had uh, attorneys Hogan and Turner appointed to represent him. Um, there have been some filings regarding uh, motions to dismiss, motions to modify bond, and uh, today's date did not work for Attorney Hogan uh, and Turner to be present in court, correct, Attorney Hogan? Correct, Your Honor. And my understanding is what the parties uh, will be looking to do today is in light of uh, the recent appointment, have the court find cause to continue to toll time limits and adjourn the matter to April 4th. That will give the parties some opportunity to discuss what, if anything, we actually need to take up that day, including the preliminary hearing, and it will give attorneys Hogan and Turner an opportunity to be present uh, in court. Uh, Attorney Hogan, is that uh, your understanding is it's what we're looking to do today? Yes, that's all correct, Your Honor. And Attorney Green? Yes, Judge. All right. Based on uh, the recent appointments then of uh, Attorney Hogan and Attorney Turner, the court will find good cause to toll any continue to toll any applicable time limits, and we'll adjourn the matter to April 4th at 11 o'clock with the anticipation that if we have the preliminary hearing, uh, we'll be doing that in person. It's going to be a waiver, Attorney Hogan, that can be done via Zoom, okay? Uh, you Thank you, Your Honor. All right, and that date and time works for you and Attorney Turner, Attorney Hogan? It does. It works for the state? Yes, Judge. All right, anything else for the record, Attorney Lebrie? No, Judge. Attorney Hogan? No, thank you. Then we're adjourned. Tell us how the search has been going so far. Uh, it's it's going, you know, um, just, I don't want to say running out of places, but, you know, I know there's lots more to search and, you know, but sometimes you just kind of feel defeated on where do I go, where do I look now? Um, so, 
but you know, we'll be back at it again. Um, with the cold weather coming, of course we're not gonna search tomorrow, uh, but um, we'll be back at it Saturday. So, you know, whatever, wherever. <laughs> um, it's just, it's frustrating right now, you know, again, because I just, I honestly don't know where to, to look anymore. Um, and I just feel that he's close. I really do. I feel that he's close. Um, so, so yeah, we'll just go with the flow. So, yeah. what, what was it like to hear about the news of the blanket this week? It was actually great news. Um, uh, something that was released to us, you know, even the, to find out that it was found in the first week of Elijah being uh, missing. Um, so that was helpful. It was. Um, but on the flip side to that, you're just like, your heart just kind of sinks because his blanket was out in the field. You know what I mean? And then there's no Elijah, you know? So um, it's just, you know, it's a double-edged sword right now. So, yeah. Some things have been um, released about past charges with Vang and his connection mm -hmm. to to Jess, uh, to Katrina, excuse me, you know, mm -hmm. some, some trafficking charges. What are your thoughts on that? What's your reaction? Um, well, you know, again, that's just, as far as like the trafficking and, and stuff like that, you know, just like hearsay or, you know, or whatever happened to her in the past, you know, um, I, you know, if I'm being honest, I mean, I should say that I don't care because I, I do care. I mean, for any woman or any child or, you know, um, a boy, man, you know, it can happen to them, but I'm just more concerned about the here and now and what's going on with Elijah. That is our main focus. That is our only focus, you know, and hopefully we can get something out of them too. Um, because they know, they know, you know, and I'll say it again. I've said it a hundred times. They know where this little boy is and I, they can't tell me any different so you know and like that's what I mean as far as like the double-edged sword you know um, it's been 30 days and the only thing that we have is, is his blanket well PD has is his blanket um, so um, you know it's just it kind of brings you down a little bit you know because I mean that's the last thing that you know I wanted to hear, you know, I'd rather hear Elijah was found safe and sound and, you know, with his blanket, not just his blanket out in the field, you know, so. Is the hope for that almost diminishing as, you know, time goes along and like you said, the blanket was found in a field. And, yeah. You know, police haven't necessarily put a time stamp on when that was. Right, right. You know, and again, just being honest, um, you know, 30 days, that's a long time for a three-year-old to be missing and then nobody has seen or heard or, or nothing um, and, and just, just the blanket, it, it's gut-wrenching, you know, up, out in the field again, you know, that's um, out in the field. You know, it just, it sucks. It really does. Part of my language, but it, it really sucks. Um, we just want him. We yeah. just want him physically, you know, um, so we can give the family some peace and, you know, um, where they're not stressing 24 hours a day, you know, because, again, I, I, he has no ties to me, and I wake up, and he's the first thing that's on my mind. I jump on my phone. I want to see if any changes or overnight, or, um, and that's the last thing that I do when I go to bed is I think about Elijah.